What's going on YouTube? Robocast Gaming here. In this video, I'm going to be bringing you guys the first of a very long series that's going to be called Steam Sales. So, basically, in this series, I'm going to be showing you guys the best sales of the week. And if there's any special events going on, I'm going to be showing you the best sales of the event. So, I hope you guys enjoy this video and this series because it's going to be a weekly series, most likely once every Monday. So, again, hope you guys enjoy, and we're going to go ahead and get started. Okay, guys, so before we actually get started, I do want to mention the dates for the sale. So this sale goes on from November 2nd, 2015 to November 9th, 2015, so it is a 7-day sale. Okay guys, so the first game that we're going to be looking at in this episode is Banished. Now Banished is kind of like a city building, I guess you could say, strategy simulation game. So if you could kind of compare it to City Skylines, but it definitely is not as good as City Skylines, but it's definitely a fun game. Uh, Banished is on sale for $4.99, it's regularly $19.99, so you save 75%. And I definitely think it is worth the money. Another thing I tend to look at when looking for a game are the reviews and the hours played. So, for example, if they have a good positive review and it sounds like a good game, but they only have like 0.3 hours on it, I'm most likely not going to buy it. So, usually I look for games with people have at least above 10 hours, because for $4.99 it is definitely worth playing 10 hours worth of a game. So all the reviews, at least most of the reviews, are very positive. So it's a highly rated game, and a lot of people enjoy it. And also, uh, many of the reviews have at least 10 hours, at least most of the positive ones. This guy here is 8.9. Uh, this guy's not recommended, but 24, 111, 596. Whenever people have this many hours in a game, they usually tend to enjoy it, and they usually spend a lot of time on it. So uh, I do look at the reviews, and it looks like this game has some pretty positive reviews, and it looks like people play it for quite a while. So it is definitely worth the $4.99. And the second game that we're going to be looking at on our list today is Dirt Rally. Dirt Rally is kind of like a simulation off-road racing game. It's a lot of fun, and I could see how people have a lot of hours into it. It is regularly $49.99, and it's on sale for $42.49. Now, that doesn't really sell like much money off. Technically, it's not. It's only 15% off. But I would most likely recommend it if you're into racing games. I mean, there's obviously some better racing games you can get, uh, but this one is on sale. I mean, yes, this is definitely worth the money, but I don't know if I would buy it quite yet. I'm just putting this up there in case any of you guys are interested. Uh, but it is a really good game, and it's probably worth the $42.49. Now, moving down to the reviews of this game, uh, a lot of the reviews are positive. Actually, like, a ton of the reviews are positive. As you can tell right here, 4,200 positive reviews and 349 negative reviews. So that's a big difference there, which tends to show that these people like this game. And looking at the hours aspect of this, uh, people have quite a few hours on this game. There's like 181, 34, 24, 67. So that tends to show that people enjoy this, as I said before. Because obviously, if you didn't enjoy this game, you wouldn't have a bunch of hours on it. So guys, I recommend this game. You can pick it up right now while it's on sale. And again, it is worth the $42.49. And the next game that we're going to be looking at is called Armed with Wings Rearmed. So this is one of those games that you'll buy... And you'll play for a little bit, but then you'll get bored, and then eventually you'll go back and play a little bit more. But it's not one of those games that you're going to be playing for hours and hours. But that tends to reflect in the price, because this game is only $5.99. It's regularly $8, and it's on sale for $6, so it's 25% off. And I'm going to explain this game real fast. It's kind of like a 2D action platformer. It is an indie game, as you can tell by these little tags right here. Uh, but what you do is you kind of just like hop around the map, and you fight stuff, and you do these little like puzzles and stuff like that. It's a pretty fun game. I have played it. A long time ago, it was like, it was somewhere near April, or, not in April, it was, it was, well, obviously, it was after May, because this was released in May, I don't remember when it was, but it was around when it first came out, I bought it on my second Steam account, and I haven't really played it since, but it is definitely a fun game. Going down to the reviews of this game, uh, people, as I said before, don't really have many hours on it, uh, but it seems to, it seems like people enjoy it. You guys could look all these games up on YouTube if you're curious what the play is like, gameplay, uh, but... I mean, it, it's a nice game, and it's definitely a pretty pretty fair indie game for the price. The next game on our list is called Avernum 2 Crystal Souls. So this game kind of reminds me of kind of, I guess you could say, RuneScape. I mean, not exactly like RuneScape. I'm sorry if I somehow offended you RuneScape fans out there. I, did, I personally didn't really play the game, but uh, this looks like a fairly nice game. It's on sale for $14.99, regularly $20, so you save $6 or 25%. And it is a strategy tr strategy in the adventure game. So uh, it's a pretty cool like underground role playing game, as it says right here. And it says there's over a hundred towns and dungeons and an epic story. So it looks like it's it's fairly simplistic, as I said before. But it looks like it could definitely be fun. Moving down to the reviews of this game, 
This really makes me think of RuneScape, because most people who play RuneScape have quite a few hours on it, and they seem to enjoy it. Uh, the same case goes with these. There's 49 positive reviews and 2 negative reviews, so it seems like a lot of people enjoy this. Uh, this guy has 71.3 hours, he says this game's amazing and updated, blah blah blah, reminds him of the 90s. Uh, 78 hours, 56 hours, 60 hours, 115 hours. Uh, so if you guys were into RuneScape Classic or any of those old, like, RPG-style games, uh, this is definitely the game for you. And the final game on today's list is called Flame Over. So I guess it's kind of like a pun for Game Over. I don't know. I was just guessing. But it looks like a fairly cool top-down shooter. Uh, I don't know what type of genre this would be. But it's a randomly generated world uh, with four different game zones and dastardly hazardous at every turn. Uh, it looks like a really cool game. I love the art style. It looks like it could be a lot of fun. And it says pyro-like game mechanics. So I guess that means... I don't know, I guess they're using sort of, sort of like puns here. I guess that means it's roguelike, and it says squirt them up, so I guess that means shoot them up. So it's, it's shoot them up, roguelike, I guess it's randomly generated. It looks like fun, uh, and it's only on sale. I mean, it's on sale for $2.99, so it's on sale for 75% off. Definitely a good deal. Moving down to the reviews of this game, uh, it seems like people really enjoy it based on what I've read. But, I mean, they don't have many hours on it, but I mean, for a game like this... You can't expect somebody to have like a thousand hours on it, and especially for $2.99, it's definitely worth the small amount of money.